So I am back with another plan with me video and let's be honest this one should have been shared last week but just like the previous month you guys October October has flown by. I did not even like I don't have anything set up and the November spreads start tomorrow. So this is Sunday when I'm filming this. Sunday the 29th I think. I don't even know what day it is. And I realized that I need to be writing stuff in my planner and I totally missed the boat and didn't realize that October was almost over. It went that fast. I'm really in disbelief. So I'm sharing this with you. So I have been going through my office recently getting everything and I want to share that with y'all. If I have time I might vlog it and kind of share with you kind of what's going on right now in my office and kind of it's been a while since I've shared it and kind of what I've been doing and how it's set up right now. So if I have time, I will do that. Um, but I was going through organizing stuff in my office closet and I ran across my planner covers. I have them in a the little container and this one was one of the life in little squares covers that I created. Y'all, it's probably been four or five years ago and I still love it today. All of my favorite fall things, books, Cupcakes. Y'all, I actually made gingerbread cupcakes yesterday, so that's funny that that's on here. Um, it's got football and coffee and cozy socks and owl, some quotes, and I just love it. But the issue was, look at this. I forgot to do the back. So that's what they send, or they used to, if you forget to do it back. So I would love to make another one of these. I need to put that on my to-do list. So I just want to share that with y'all. Now October, you guys, I did not have enough time to add anything in here. So it stayed as is. If you did not see this one where we set this up, I will share that link or that link in a card above, but it looks really cute. This is trick or treat. This is still in the shop. Everything that you're going to see is in the shop and the shop is currently open. Since I'm not, you'll see this in a minute. I'm not opening up or I'm not sharing new releases until Black Friday sale. I am leaving the shop open a little bit longer so you guys can shop, get all those Christmas stickers if you would like them. And then I'll close it right beforehand to share all of the new rele releases. So that's usually when I close the shop is when I'm trying to share the new releases. So when I share one, I'll go ahead and get it prepped on the site so there's not a lot of setup the day before the shop goes live. So now we're moving to November and Kate's got a dentist appointment on November 7th. So let me put that to the side. So for November, I decided to use pumpkin spice. It's one of my favorite kits. I don't know how many times I have said this to you guys and you're probably going to hear me say this again. Uh, yeah, nope. No, I did pumpkin spice for October, so you've already heard me say I like pumpkin spice. So I've used the weekly for October, and this is the monthly. I just love all of the colors and everything about this, you guys. So this is the 7x9. I have 7x9 and then the A5 size if you have the A5 from Erin Condren. And then I don't even have my little add-on sticker sheet. So if you order monthlies from my shop, I do mine a little bit differently than every other shop, I think. Instead of putting all of the information on the header, I separate it all out so you can put it where you want to because I was having people that like to change up and I'll be honest, I never noticed this until you guys pointed this out to me. Um, the monthly start on a Sunday, but the weekly starts on a Monday. Okay, if you heard that loudness, that was my son. Hopefully he's gonna be quiet now. So back to what I was saying, so what I did was, since some people like to change their monthly to match their weekly and have it have a Monday start, I made sure that I separated everything so that you could do that on your header. And then also make sure you choose the month because it will come as a little add-on sheet that I need to get for myself because right now I don't have my sticker that goes with this. Oh, that matches. So I just randomly grabbed one. So I usually just randomly grab one for myself and then give you all the ones that match. <laughs> the actual kits. So this is what we are using to set up November Pumpkin Spice. Travel the world, all the 
you guys I think I have everything marked down that I had written down previously so I knew that the fall was going to be so jam-packed with things to do that I printed these little calendars off of the internet I don't know where I just typed oh this is blankcalendarpages.com and I just started writing everything down that I knew at that moment to make sure that I got to everywhere that these kids needed to go so, I think I have everything down, but I have realized one thing in doing all of this. I need to have a sticker album. I need to create myself a sticker album to keep over here by this station because there are stickers that I pull for it from every time to use on all of these spreads. So, like, for instance, I, these are all icons, but I need to get a sticker album. We might do that, too set my set me up a sticker binder with stickers that i use often and that would probably be really good for you guys too so to see like what stickers are available in my shop which ones i use the most so you can see maybe what you would like to purchase from the shop if you've never purchased before so i see zero five the little birthday balloons use that down here for nathan's birthday the football um which we do have a game friday I did not mark that down because my brain is not associating Friday with November. I'm filming this on Sunday. I, 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 my brain cannot wrap around that we're going to November. Anybody else like that? So, for the footballs, I use that for the Kansas City game down here. So, it has been, I guess, I hate to use the word bucket list or words bucket list, but I like to call them life lists. I have been to a Kansas City Chiefs game, and so has my husband. We went probably eight years ago, but our kids have never gone. And we wanted to take them to a Kansas City Chiefs game. And so I purchased those tickets this summer, and we are going to the Chiefs and Eagles game, which I think is, and y'all, I'm going to be honest, I could care less if Taylor Swift was there. Like, I, I'm not a Swifty. So, I'm, I'm just not. So, I think it's going to be neat to see the Kelsey brothers playing a Super Bowl type of game here. So, we're excited. We leave the 19th. The game is on the 20th, and then we come back the 21st. So, so excited about that. My kids are excited. My husband is, like, to the moon excited. So, I use that there. Um, next, let's see. Some of this I didn't use. Soccer. So, we have our last soccer game for the fall. The 11th and 12th in Memphis. That's the last game for Derek for the fall. And then we start preparing for the spring season. So that's IC16. Um, no volleyball right now for November. But I keep these in here. IC19. And then I did not put anything down for Taekwondo because he doesn't have any tournaments or testing or anything. But the little martial arts thing, IC56, I keep those in here as well. So I need to get myself a sticker binder set up to keep all that in so we may do that just to see how i like to organize stickers i'm going to put that on my to-do list to do for you guys so let's go through everything um the second thursday derek has a hair appointment the seventh kate has a dentist appointment we went over the soccer game on this is if you notice i do not have marked down and if you saw my November calendar or on any of my social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, you will notice that I did not write down when I was going to do the live. And now you're seeing why. And I actually didn't even mark down the 16th because Kate has a dance on the 16th. I have to do that. Because normally I film a live the day before I have a sale. Well, that would be the 19th on Sunday. The 19th is when I would film that. 
I'm not going to be here. So the 16th of November, Kate has her fall school dance. The 17th, I have to work on the 17th. So we are out the week of Thanksgiving, the 20th or the 23rd, 24th. But I work the 17th. So, Kate is part of the Unified Special Olympics. So, she is, I think they consider her a partner. So, she works with the kids in her grade. And they have a tournament um, in Conway, Arkansas. So, we will leave too because it's like a big event. And her family can come that evening. So, she'll be there all day. And then she'll have the tournament on the 18th. So we will be gone the 17th and 18th. We will come home on the 18th after our event. We will unpack, repack to leave the 19th for the Kansas City game that's on the 20th and come back the 21st. And then we start, we go to Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I can't, I'm trying to figure it out. As soon as I figure it out, I will let you guys know. In my mind, I'm thinking what I might do is I might do a live the week of the 13th to the 17th. And then also do a video with the new releases. So have two. So do a live that week. And then on the either 19th or 20th, do a release video just in case you miss the live. That is in my brain right now what I'm thinking I will do. But I will let you guys know. So I know that's a lot of rambling, but I wanted to share that. And then the 28th is my husband's birthday. So I think it looks fantastic. Love this kit. So happy I decided to use it for November. So let's see the common question for today is going to be what is something you are looking forward to in November? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So you guys, I that's it for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it. Now here's the thing. I'm going to stop right there on my spiel because I have noticed this not just out of my channel, but out of many channels. YouTube is kind of flat right now. Content's not getting shared as much. There's not many view, as many views on videos. So it's very helpful if you go in there and you comment or you give it a like. Anything like that. Just to kind of get YouTube to kind of kick in the algorithm and start sharing the video. And not just sharing it with people that are not subscribed. Sharing it with people that are subscribed. Because if you have noticed, I have noticed that they're not popping up videos of people I'm subscribed to and want to see. So definitely do that. So you guys, I hope you have a blessed week. And until next time, which will probably be in the next day or two because I'll be sharing my weekly. I hope you'll have a blessed one. So until then, bye guys.